This morning, I'm bringing to you the good news. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21 verse 4. Our topic today is the good news. Our scripture is taken from the book of Revelation 21 verse 4. Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 11. May the Lord bless you. Hear the good news. I pray that good news will come your way this season. In Jesus name. Beloved, I want to clearly inform you today that the Almighty God is the fountain of good news and He has embedded all good th- news in the person of His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. The bad news, of course, is sorrow and limitation. They come to mankind through the devil's introduction of sin, Genesis 3, 16, 24. However, God turned this bad news around when he sent his angels to proclaim the arrival of good news on earth, Luke 2, 10, 11. Upon this good news rests all other news we can describe as good today. Let us consider the character of the good news brought by the angels to mankind. First of all, the angels said, Fear not. When you consider what fear has caused, in the lives of people down through the ages, you will appreciate the good news that man has no reason to live in fear anymore. Another thing to note from the angel's message is that the good news brings great joy to all people. In other words, any news that does not bring joy is not of God. Also, any message that claims to be the good news must be for all people. This can only come from the God of the entire people. This can only come from God of entire world. So, the good news of the Son of the Living God is not for any single race, tribe, or class of people only. Rather, it is for all people in all race and from generation to generation. Now, what is the good news? It is the fact that the Savior has been born and he has paid the price of redeeming us from the consequences of the bad news that sin represents. For those who have accepted him as their personal Lord and Savior, the internal punishment made for the human race has been wiped away by his sacrifice. This is why we have the assurance on the last day, God shall wipe away all tears from our eyes and we will no longer experience death, sorrow or pain. This is the source of our joy and hope. Anyone who accepts this message of the good news as true and also accept Jesus Christ, who is the good news as Lord and Savior, will partake of this joy and hope. Have you done this? May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.